We're going to make the battle with the robot at the end of our sequence a little more interesting by setting up a system such that our robot will heal itself back to full health every one half of a second. Now, this is kind of an interesting setup. It's really, it's very self-indulgent. I'm doing it just because it's fun and it's with Kismet. It doesn't have that much to do with the actual cinematic sequence, though because we had so much buildup with our cinematic sequence, it just seems like that fight should be a little bit harder. Now, the way we're going to set this up is that, as I said, every half a second, the robot's going to get full health. That means that our little pea shooter, the little kind of sub-link gun that we get at the beginning of the level, which is actually worse than a real link gun, is not going to have the firepower to take out this robot. We're going to have to go get the rocket launcher, and even then, only a direct hit will solve our problem. Uh, our little explosion damage won't do. So let's talk about how we're going to set this up. In essence, we're going to build a loop. It's going to start off by saying, all right, is the robot alive? If he is, let's find out how much health he's got. Okay, now we know how much health he has. Let's subtract that from 100 to get the difference. And then let's give that health back to him. And it's just going to repeat that every 0.5 seconds. Now, the first part of that is checking to see if the robot's alive. Obviously, you don't need to heal a robot that's already blown up. So let's right-click. I'm going to come to New Condition and choose Is Alive. And we'll go ahead and plug that into the finished of the actor factory. Now, it's going to have to check and see what, what player is alive. And a bot actually counts here. So we can take this variable that's storing our bot and connect that right in, no problem. Okay, so we've decided that the bot is alive. Now what? We need to get his health. So let's right click, go to new action, and we'll choose the object property subcategory and we'll grab get property. So if he is alive, that's set to true, let's plug this into get property. And there's some setup required here. First off, we need to give this a target. Well, that's easy. We're grabbing the bot's health, so we can drag our target down to that little variable that's currently storing the bot. Let me move some of my nodes around so that nothing is really overlapping too much. Okay, now next we have some other things. We need to know the property name. That's easy. That's health. So now we're grabbing the health of the bot, but what are we going to do with it? We're going to output it. Now, that health is going to go out as an integer value. So that's just something you have to know. So let's right click on int and choose create new int value. And that's going to be the robot's health. Excellent. Now we know the health, the current health of the robot, but what we need is the difference between that and full health. We're going to create that with a math expression. So let's right click, go to new action, choose math, and we're going to choose subtract int. We'll plug the output of our get property into the input of our subtract int. Now let's take a look at the properties. We have value A and value B. The way this works is it's going to take A and subtract B from it. So we'll take value A and hard code that to 100, which is what we'll consider to be full health. And then we'll take value B and plug its input into our int variable. So let's say our robot had 60 health. We'll subtract 60 from 100, which will give us 40. And so now we know exactly how much to give the robot back to give him full health. Now, it works both ways. If some magically uh, improbable way we ended up with a robot that had 115 health, it would see that as well. When it subtracted the two, it would actually remove the difference for us. So now let's right click and let's add this health back on. So I'm going to go to new action and we'll grab the actor and we want to choose modify health. So new action, actor, modify health. We've got to plug the output of our subtract in, or I'm sorry, our subtract int to the input of our modify health. We've got to give this a target. So let's connect this all the way back to the variable currently storing our bot. And we need an amount to give it, but notice the amount is looking for a float value and not an integer. They're actually color coded. An integer is cyan, but a float is blue. But on our subtract int, there is a float result. So I'm going to right click on float result, choose create new float variable, and plug this into the amount. So now whatever we found out to be the difference between full health and our current health, 
that is going to be modified. Notice I didn't say added. We need to select our modify health and make sure that the heal checkbox is on because without that, we'll actually be taking that much health away and that's not so good. Okay, so now with that, all we need to do is wrap back around from the output of our modify health into the in of our is alive and we have just created a loop. The problem with this is that this loop will continue to cycle at game frame rate speed. So that's a lot of calculation. That's a lot more calculation than we need. I'm going to take the out of our modify health, right click, grab set activate delay, and we'll set this to 0.5 seconds. So now we're healing him back every 0.5 seconds. Let's just go ahead and give this a quick try. There's our light. Unit in position. And now he's coming for us. And he's certainly not dying. In fact, he's about to kill us. Let's let him kill us. Alright. So he killed us. Now that's great. It did make the last battle a lot more exciting now that he was harder to kill. Um, now we should be, you know, also go ahead and test to see if we can blow him up with a rocket launcher. But before we even do that, the problem is that it's hard to see what's going on under the hood. So I want to set up some debug sequence objects that'll just allow us an easier way to test everything. So let's go back into Kismet. I'm going to start off by logging out the the bot character's health every time that this loop runs. So I'm going to start off by right clicking, choosing new action. Let's come down to misc for miscellaneous and grab a log. Now we can take the output of our get property and plug that into our log and that will activate the log sequence object. The problem is we need to feed it the value of this variable and this variable is an int. There's no place to plug an int. That's because by default, all of the inputs on a log are hidden. So all we have to do to expose them is right click, choose expose variable and grab int. Now we can plug that in like so. And now we are ready to report out the health. Let's give that just a really quick try. That's still working. The camera. Cool robot. And now he's coming to kill us. And we're getting 100s every half second. As we start to kill him, we get him all the way down to 22, but that's about as fast as we can go. Now, before he kills us, let's try the rocket launcher. Notice he's all the way back to 100% health. And that solved our problem. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, we could set up some other parts of the debug system. We could set up infinite ammo as well as god mode if we just really kind of wanted to play around with them. I'll show you how to do that real quick, and then if you want to add it, you can. If you don't, that's cool too. Uh, for infinite ammo, I'm going to right-click, go to new action, and come down to pawn, and just grab the infinite ammo uh, sequence object. Yes, there is a sequence object for that. And what we're going to do is connect this right back to the actor factory. So as soon as the actor factory spawns our bot, we'll give our player infinite ammo. We do need to create a player variable here. So I'm going to right click, choose new variable, choose player. Actually, come back here, player, and then grab the player. And we'll plug that in. Now I'm just going to go ahead and switch off all players. So that's just for player zero. Okay, now the other thing we can do is put the character in God mode. Now to do that, I'm going to use a console command. So let's just right click, new action, and then under miscellaneous, you'll see console command. So we'll plug the output of our infinite ammo right into that. We just need to feed this some sort of a command. Now there's already one waiting for us. We just need to type in God. That's going to put us in God mode automatically. We've got to feed this a target though. So we'll feed this player zero. So we can test this out. Let's go ahead and run us back here to the switch because that's quicker. And here's our light. Now if we take a look at the messages that'll pop up in the left-hand side of the screen, we should see God Mode pop up. Yep. So now he can't kill us. So now as we open fire, 
we can just go nuts on him. And as soon as our ammo gets down to zero, it's just going to reset. So we're never going to run out of ammo. It's a great way to test everything. And when you're done, just nuke out the nodes. So we have our health system in place. We know it's working. That's going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. Yeah.